What's going on guys and today I've got a roundup of the final weekend I guess you could say of the BPL season. There was 10 games today, every single match was being played today apart from the Man United Bournemouth game which was called off due to a bomb threat and we've not heard much of this ever since out of the press or anything we've just heard there has been a package found in the stadium, the stadium was evacuated and the game was abandoned. There has been a controlled explosion so they have blew up the package um, but we've not heard what was actually in the package yet so we'll probably find that out later tonight. Anyway, that's just some Brighton news. There was a lot of good wins in the Premier League. Probably the most surprising of them all. 5-1 to Newcastle against Spurs. I mean, everyone was saying it was a two-horse race, but Spurs didn't even finish in the top two. And really, Arsenal's season has turned from a woeful season to a decent season in about five minutes. Or, I suppose, 90 minutes if you think in the grand scale of things. But let's just say five minutes. Also, Chelsea, they somehow drew with Leicester. Um, I can't really say who that was a good result for. I'm not seeing really the stats or anything for it, but... Um, Chelsea did score first and Drinkwater did get one back for Leicester later in the game so decent result for both sides I guess you could say there. Everton of course, sack Roberto Martinez, oh let's just win 3-0 against Norwich, seems like a good idea. They clearly don't need them do they, they just wanted them gone, it's like Chelsea all over again, they wanted Mourinho gone then they started playing well, it's like it's like the same thing. Southampton beat Crystal Palace 4-1 which was kind of surprising, I did think Southampton would win but only by like one or two goals so 4-1 is a bit, bit surprising. But, what can you say, they, they, they deserved it. Stoke City beat West Ham, this was unbelievable guys, West Ham, who were fighting for possibly a Champions League spot at the beginning of the day, aren't even going to get a Europa League spot now. How? Yes, Spencer's not going to be too happy with that. Manchester City, my team, um, did draw with Stoke, 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 what, Stoke? They did draw with Swansea City 1-0 in what was a very, very boring game. I mean, that second half was hard to watch, genuinely. It was like watching Man United, it was so boring. Going back to the Man United game, that's probably the most interesting thing that's happened to Old Trafford all year. I mean, you know your team's doing bad when a bomb scare is the most exciting thing that's happened to you all season. But anyway, Man City, decent result. We get into the, that top four. We're going to finish fourth unless Man United somehow win 19-0 or more than that um, against Bournemouth whenever the game is played. Can't quite see that happening somehow, but I suppose you never know. Watford did draw 2 all with Sunderland. Good result, I would say, for um, probably Watford, actually, considering Sunderland have been on a run of form lately. I was expecting Sunderland to kind of cruise the game, maybe 2-3-0, but Watford, fair play to them, did um, draw the game 2 all I'm not too sure in the stats, they might have deserved it more than Sunderland, but going into it, I would say Sunderland were the favourites. And finally, Liverpool did draw with West Brom, which I'll be in 1-0. Oh, good result for West Brom, who haven't been too good this season, they've been kind of average, um, not too good in the FA Cup and stuff like that, but Liverpool, they'll, they'll be disappointed to end the season on a 1-0 draw with West Brom. Anyway guys, that is the roundup of the last week of the Premier League season, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video, if you have, make sure to drop a like, if we can hit 30 likes on this video, that'd be insane guys, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, and apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.